the back line. Enriquez is there for the foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There for the foot back. And Rodriguez is in the store for the corner three. Terrell Castor hits that three. Flores, laro lang ng bata kumatake at dosi na. So we have a fronting. On over in Sydney. On over in throwing up a triple. Si Rosen is not known as a three-point shooter. Pero ito si Brock. Hindi na papasok ito ng Lentra Knights. Si Antoine Estrella. this rainy Tuesday inside the Phil Oil Flying Bee Center. Kahit nga maulan sa labas, eh mainit naman ang aksyon dito sa pagpapatuloy ng second round ng NCAA Season 93. San Sebastian and Letran getting ready. There's the Stingray, Ray Nambatak and the Knights from Intramuros getting ready to take on the Stags of San Sebastian College Recoletos para sa ating NCAA Season 93 live and exclusive on SNA at SNA HD Channel 166 na inyong napapanood sa Sky Cable at also, pinabati natin mga kababayan natin worldwide via TFC and sports.abs-cbn.com slash livestream slash NCAA. Two games on tap today, September 26th. First up, the 6-6 six six, San Sebastian College Recoletos Golden Stags against the 7-6 Colegio de San Juan de Letran Knights. At mamaya maya naman, it will be the still undefeated 13-0 Lyceum of the Philippines University Pirates against the 6-7 and seven, Emilio Aguinaldo College Generals. Magandang hapon mga kapamilya. Ako po si Andre Felix kasama ang nag-iisang di ko na alam kung paano ko siya i-describe. Basketball player, trainer, lahat na analyst, Mikey Reyes, nice to have you back. Well, thank you Andre. It's good to be back here in the NC. Exciting match up ahead. Mo Singapore ka pa? Oh, jet lag. <laughs> jet lag. Jet lag. <laughs> Sana yung uh, pagkawala mo ng bahagya, pumunta ka ng Singapore to play. I, I hope you're still updated with the NC. Well, of course, but of course. Let's take a look at the team standings right now, Mikey, and see where the teams are. I did mention Lyceum is still undefeated. Right behind them is San Beda with 12 wins and one loss. Well, obviously, those two teams talaga, eh, runaway favorites dito sa atin season 93. So, ayun sila, 13-0 and zero for Lyceum, 12-1 and one for San Beda. Pero the next four teams, at kasama dito yung dalawang team na maglalaro ngayon, the Letran Knights and the San Sebastian Stags, nandiyan din ang Jerry Heavy Bombers and EAC Generals. Medyo log jam sila ngayon sa gitna fighting for the third and fourth spot. Yeah, looking at Letran 7-6, and six, they want this win to create separation, a little bit uh, of separation. Palayo sa JRU to gain that third spot, that solo third. Ito namang San Sebastian, eh. ayaw din namang matalo kasi babagsak sila at maaari pang sa ilalim ng EAC. Of course, EAC is playing later, so these four teams really need their wins dito sa mga susunod na games. Let's go back to their first round meeting last month. August 15, kung saan the Knights pinataob nila ang San Sebastian Stags in overtime, 79 to 75. Eh kahit nga may kinawala si Jeyo Ambot, Letran was still able to survive the Stags without their big man. Well, of course, it was a very close game. Looking at Michael Calisaan flexing his muscles sa kabila naman. Ray Nambata hitting from all corners of the floor, from all areas of the floor. And looking at these two players, alam naman natin when we talk about the Letran Knights and the San Sebastian Stags, always we will talk about Ray Nambatak and Michael Calisan. And during that game, eh, yun, nagpakitang gilas ang parehas na players. Double-double for both of them, 23 and 14 for the Stingray, 18 and 13 for Michael Calisan. Pero looking at their other stats, Letran shot better, almost 40% from the field. And they also had seven more assists compared to San Sebastian. Ang fast break points then 10 versus two points only for San Sebastian. Pero ang stags naman, forced more turnovers, 24 to 16, converting 
on 16, 16 points from that. So malaking bagay yung natin sino mag adjust at sino ang magpapagpatuloy ng mga key stats nila sa last game. They're both the leading scorers of their respective squads. In the meantime, this man, the former San Sebastian Staglet, Enzo Navarro, eh, nag-set siya ng kanyang new seniors division high. Para sa kanya, 16 points for Enzo Navarro. He was definitely a sniper, only missing one three-point shot in that game. Well, of course, Enzo Navarro, everyone was excited sa pagbabalik ng prodigal son nga ng San Sebastian, ang sniper stag na itong si Enzo Navarro. Like what you said, he only missed one 16 points, three assists, and he's starting to be a little bit more confident dito sa San Sebastian system. And he's starting also to get his groove, his rhythm, at talaga nagiging consistent na itong si Enzo Navarro. Tingnan natin kung paano makakap makakatulong yung ibang teammates niya and of course they will need Enzo's production kung gusto nila matalo itong Letran Well in the last game of Letran it was a battle of Intramuros against Mapua Mapua got her single win against Letran in the first round nakabawi ang Knights last September 22 88-79 thanks to the Stingray it was a huge second quarter Mikey where the Stingray outscored the whole Cardinals team just in that quarter alone Well of course ito nga si Ray Nambata kalam naman natin what he can do with that basketball he can score in bunches easily for Ray Nambata. Kinakakascore to kahit tulog itong si Stingray. Alam naman natin yan. And 11 points dun sa second quarter. Only 7 for the entire Mapua team. And in that second quarter, it was a 26-7 to 7 burst for the Letran Knights. Kaya nga naman, eh, itong si Ray Nambata also finished with 25 points on 50% shooting. At 8 rebounds din ang nabigay na itong si Ray Nambata. Kaya... Alam naman natin yung mga first na nabibigay ng Letran Knights offensively. Tingnan natin kung paano makokontain ito ng, Mapu, I'm, ng San Sebastian. I'm sure na napanood nila yung game niyan and they will be ready for the scoring of Ray Nabata. Well, Mikey, we have a new member on our team to complete our big three for our first game this Tuesday afternoon. Puntahan natin at i-welcome natin. She's an MOR 101.9 DJ and kasama din natin siya sa NCAA On Tour. Miss Anna Ramsey, good afternoon and welcome to the NCAA. Thank you so much, Andre and Mikey, for the warm welcome, mga kapamilya. Yes, ako nga ang bagong-bago niyong makakasama. At syempre, sa lahat ng mga kapamilya natin dyan na nanonood sa kanilang bahay, paaralan, opisina, o kahit nasan ka man, pwedeng-pwede kang manood via live streaming. Just go to sports.abs-cbn.com slash livestream slash NCAA. At syempre na nga, mga kapamilya, ha? Of course, don't forget to use our hashtag NCAA Season 93 and NCAA Strong para sa ating question of the day. And the question is, ano ang gusto mong i-dedicate na song para sa paborito mong player? Andre, Mikey? At balita ko, meron ka daw na kanta. Alam ko first game mo Binalik mo pa sa amin, ikaw ang mag-sample. Ikaw daw, meron ka daw kanta na i-dedicate because we know that you do sing. Kumakanta siya, Mikey, every night. So, sample lang mo naman kami. Naman kami, nakanta para sa NCAA player na favorite. Sige, sige, sige. Ito na, ito na, ito na yun. Para kanino ba? Well, of course, dinededicate ko lahat to, ha. Sa lahat ng mga players. Ayan. Okay, sige. Ito na, ahem, ahem. Sound check, sound check. Kaysa mo, wala tayong oras. Alright. I believe I can fly, Ooh. I believe I can touch the sky, think about it every night and day, Ooh. spread my wings and fly away. Ayan, para sa mga players natin dyan, <laughs> diba? Lahat naman tayo, nag aim tayo ng best, diba, for today. Ayos. There you have it. Mikey, okay. Andre? Well, ang galing. Wala akong masabi. Oh ah, Baang gusto ko na lumipad. <laughs> Ito naman mga katabi natin, Anna, ha? Kung sabi ko mga Letran students, si Thea at si EJ, anong kanta? ang naisip niyo, i-dedicate niyo sa mga players natin. Sino favorite player niyo, Sensei? Si Nambatak po. Si Nambatak. May naisip ka yung kanta? Mayroon po. Anong song? Say you won't let go. Sige, sample. One, two, three, go! Just say you won't let go. Just say you won't let go. Say you won't let go. Ikaw ang nagtala ng pake! Baka mag-let go si Ray ng Batak niya. <laughs> well, we hope you guys won't let go and stay tuned to us when we return. It will be the Letra Knights and the San Sebastian Stags. Kayo po'y nakatuto sa NCAA on SNA. Ryan Costello, point guard. Alvin Capobres, forward. Jason David, forward. Mike Kalisaan, forward. 
Alvin Bates of Center. JP Galbo, point guard. Tommy Kidaria, point guard. Rain Ambatak, shooting guard. Bong Quinto, forward. Christian Balagasay, center. San Sebastian will be in their yellow uniforms ngayong hapon. Ryan Costello, Alvin Capobers in the backcourt. Michael Calisan at si Jason David naman up front. And Alvin Baityong will be the man in the middle. Contra kay Christian Balagasay. He will be with Bong Quinto and Rain Ambatak up front. And Tommy Gadaria and JP Calvo. Two guards, two point guards ni Jeff Napa. So Tommy Gadaria has been starting alongside uh, JP Calvo. Well, of course, alam naman natin, JP Calvo also one of the leading scorers for Letran. So, si Coach Jeff, medyo gusto nga na medyo may scoring mentality lumabas para kay JP and he takes that first shot right away. Sobrang nga lang, unang attempt ni JP Calvo. Gedaria tracks it down. Shot clock did not reset as the ball did not hit the ring. Six to go. Umatake si JP Calvo. Calvo being very aggressive right away, Mikey, na banggit mo. Offensively, and David looks like will foul Rain Ambatak. That will be David's first first team foul. Well, having someone like Edaria to share the backcourt duties para with uh, JP Calvo, this gives JP nga a little bit more freedom on the offensive side. Niya masyado kailangan iikot yung bola po. Edi siyang skumore ito, the drive na naman siya dito. Here's Nambatak, kay Quinto. Four seconds on their shot clock. Quinto nagpakawala ng tres. It's a front iron. 0 of 3. That's the only possession doon. Ang Letran, but San Sebastian needs to do a better job rebounding the basketball. Costello, ibibigay. Ito kay Capovers, ilalabas kay Costello for 3. Quinto gets the defensive board. He sees he doesn't have the numbers. We'll wait for his teammates. Our officials, Hernan Alejo, George Sarapia, and Edmar Avis. Jaime Rivano is our alternate referee. Kedaria trap. Putakin ng bata. He will lose the ball. Kalisan will pick up the leather. And Costello. Well, almost a minute and a half gone by already, Mikey. Pero wala pa rin tayong score dito. At the best offensive start para sa Letran. David for three. Capobres. And San Sebastian is on the board. Courtesy of that putback from Alvin Capobres. Kahit itong si Alvin Capobres, hindi natin masyado nakikita to dito sa season 93 compared to the past season. Pero ito, sinarit siya ni Coach Ego yung makaray, repaying that confidence. Ito with the effort for that offensive rebound and putback for Alvin Capobres. You're right, this is just his third start in NCAA season 93. Just average of 7.6 minutes per game, close to 2 points. Si Alvin Capobres, get out of Using the glass, and maybe that will boost the young point guard's confidence. Well, JP Calvo, and the mean, uh, nag tat nag dalong mintis na. Kinto nag mintis din. Siri na batang ng turnovers. Eh. Hidaria na ang umatake. Tati yun. Two points para sa letran. This is Hidaria's fifth start for Coach Jeff Napa. Kalisan will try. Yes! Baka sa tres! He's basically unguardable if he hits that outside jumper. Itong si Michael Kalisan. We all know his mid-range jumper is nice. His three-point, eh, kung pumapasok mm -hmm. din, may ilalim din yan. Mayroon na depensa nitong si Michael Kalisan. Kalisan is a 31.8% three-point shooter. What a move by Quinto. Everything but the shot. By Tiong with a rebound. Off to Costello. Tumatakbo ang San Sebastian. Costello sees an opening. He throws one up. Wala. Kalisan underneath. Still no go. Calvo ahead. Hinahabo ni David. Calvo will get it back. Off to Gedaria. The kick out. Calvo. Nambatak extra pass. Nambatak trying to dribble his way inside. Huli ni David. Ganda nung depensa doon ng San Sebastian. Inabangan talaga nila. Alam the drive itong si Rey Nambatak. Costello calling the play. He says, let's move it. Let's move the ball around. Kalisan against Quinto. Offensive foul, Costello caught pushing JP Calvo for position. Balikan natin dito yung tres ni Michael Kalisan. And with confidence, a hand in his face. Iinisip itong si Michael Kalisan. Tama sa kabila, Ray ng bata. Kaya lima ang inatake dun. Na stags. Hindi siya nakapuntos din sa pagkakataon ngayon. The guy we talked about earlier on top of the coverage, Enzo Navarro, comes in because of Ryan Costello picking up his second personal foul. Jeric Balanza is also now in, replaces Tommy Idaria. 
Nice look by Calvo inside kay Balagasay. David, on the run. Hinaabol ni Balanza. David, tumuloy-tuloy. And David was able to get that one over Jeric Balanza. At ito, alam naman natin, kilala. Itong San Sebastian sa depensa nila, yung grit nila, tsaka yung kulit nila. At nakakakuha din sila ng puntos doon. And right there, ito naman si David, nakakuha ng two points off that steal. Navarro, hounding JP Calvo. This is a good point guard matchup. Calvo, the veteran point guard, says, Teka lang, Enzo. Tirahan mo na kita. Dari lang, panahon pa ni Mark Cruz, nandito na ako. Ginagawa sa akin ni Mark dati sa practice yun. Here's Enzo. Off to Kalisan. Kalisan underneath. Nakapayong si Balagasay. Michael has to kick it out to Navarro. Will use. No, he takes the three. And a battle to get position. Balagasay with the foul. Let's go back for our Vivo perfect shot. Perfect selfie. Good defense. Results. Better offense there. Tumuloy-tuloy si Jason David. On the break. Bante ng tatlong San Sebastian against Letran. 7-4 ating talaan. Well, San Sebastian, right now in the team standings, currently six wins and six losses. They're just behind Letran and JRU. And they currently lead the NCAA in steals per game, as evident kanina, that steal of Jason David led into a, 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 you know, a layup, easy layup for Jason David. They're averaging 6.8 deals per game as a team. Well, alam naman natin, Coach Ega, yung Makara really reaches defense kahit yung mga teams na dadin sa dati. Alam naman natin na multi-title champion coach itong si Coach Ega, yung Makara. And defense is always the name of the game for any of his teams. Kaya yung length nitong San Sebastian ginagamit talaga ng sistema ni Coach Ega. Enzo Navarro was able to find the spot. Gets his first two points. We did mention this young point guard who did play for San Sebastian in high school, went to Taft, and then he's back. You he called him the prodigal son. Navarro did score 16 in his last game. Balanza, now to Nambata. Trying to shake off David. Nambata sees an opening, and that Ray is one of the strengths Nambata. of Ray Nambata, just slithering and sliding. He knows how to get to the ring. Oh, alam niya, yung mga malilit na crease sa depensa, nakikita niyan si Ray Nambata, and his footwork is also phenomenal. Kaya ayun, ang ganda ng drive doon ni Ray Nambata. David, down low to Kalisan. Against Quinto, tinira ni Kalisan. Si Quinto, list up na. Again, Michael Kalisan showing us the arsenal from the outside na naman. Ito na yung adjustment period nga ni Michael Kalisan being a big guy and moving over. To medyo stretch four na siya ngayon to si Michael Kalisan. Malaking bagay ito para sa future ng bata. Well, he is 6'4 and Quinto is just 6'1. Right, tinira niya, nakita niya, he had that mismatch. In the meantime, let's go back to our newest member of our team, Ms. Anna Ramsey, with her first report this afternoon. Anna? Andrew, Mikey, ayan na nga. Alam mo, kanina talaga namang relax na sinagot ni Kalisaan. Nung tinanong ko siya patungkol sa sportsman-like fouls na naganap last week. At sabi nga niya, eh, go hard lang at normal lang naman daw yun na nangyayari sa basketball. Kaya siya, iniisip na lang niya kung paano siya makakatulong sa kanyang team. On the other side, syempre, talaga namang masaya siya na malaman na ginagawa siyang isang magandang halimbawa ni Coach Egan sa kanyang, sa kanyang buong team at talaga namang mas ginagawa na siyang maglaro, kaya naman masayang masaya siya. Andre, Mikey? Well, maraming salamat sa report na yun. Anna, well, uh, Michael Kalisan, here he is on Q. <laughs> he thought he was gonna get the bounce. Michael Kalisan, the leading scorer of San Sebastian. 16.8 points per game, 8.3 rebounds per outing. David gets another board. Kalisan, here he is underneath. He is on attack mode. And you have to commend the pass of Enzo Navarro to Michael Kalisan. Good way to keep your head up. Find those runners. Ito naman si Michael Kalisan. Kanina sa labas. At ito marunong din sa loob itong si Michael Kalisan. Getting that offensive rebound and fishing for the foul. At ito, two free throws for Michael Kalisan. Michael Kalisan will try to go for seven points. He currently has five. It's 2 of 5 from the field, 40%. He has a 3 also. And he has 5 boards already. 5 boards already. 6 minutes pa lang ang alalaro natin dito. Talk about being aggressive itong si Michael Kalisan. Not only offensively, hindi lang puntos ang inahanap niya. 
Pati sa boards, eh, talagang kinakrush nitong si Michael Galisan. We earlier saw RK Ilagan, di pa ginagamit ni Coach Egay Makaraya. He will about to field in Alfred Gayosa. Para naman kay Coach Jeff Napa, is about to field in Lance Vaccaro. There is Ray Nambatak, leading scorer in Letran, playing his final year for the Knights, averaging 17 points, close to nine rebounds per game. Michael technical naman. Coach Jeff Napa for continuous complaining. Ito, ito, pwedeng itrin yung way ni Coach Jeff Napa na bigyan ng onting ano, uh, iinit, iinit. Starter ba? Itong letran niya are now down 12 to 7. Quinto and Nambata are right in front of us talking to referee Edmar Abis and Calvo being the veteran leader that he is gathers his troops. There is Nambata talking to Balagasay and Quinto. Jason David in the meantime, Tutungo sa bench. There's Lance Vaccaro coming in for the first time. So it was a redo in the free throw ni Michael Carisang, which he converts. Ito naman yung technical free throw. Okay, technical free throw si Enzo Navarro naman ang titira. So this is huge. Kanina, nag-free throw si Carisang. Technical free throw pa, plus uh, possession. Possession. So that's a four-point swing kung makakonvert dito That's ang right. San Sebastian or even five points kung mga three points sila. Well, they can extend the lead to double digits if they do hit the three. As we approach our four-minute mark here in our first canto. Kalisan against Quinto. Quinto is giving up two inches in height, but Kalisan commits a traveling violation there. But you have to like the recognition of, of Michael Kalisan. Kanina nakadalawang outside jumper siya, kaya medyo nilapitan siya ni Bong Quinto dun sa possession nito at din-drive naman nitong si Michael Kalisan yung nga lang natawagan ng traveling. The defense from Quinto on that sequence. Balanza crossing the timeline. Pinabantayan ni Alin Bulanadi, nakakapasok lang din Nating laro. Here's Quinto against Kalisan. This time in his turn to attack. The drop pass to Vaccaro. Kalisan with another rebound. I believe that's his sixth already today. Another missed layup para sa Letran. Nakakarami na sila dito sa first quarter. At hindi sila makakuha ng kumpiyansa on the offensive side. Bulanari. Navarro fires away a three. And talking Enzo about Kumpianza, Enzo Navarro oozing with confidence on that three point basket. And now this is the biggest lead of the Stags at 10. It's 17 for San Sebastian. 7 para sa Letran. We did mention Bong Quinto playing. Great defense earlier against Michael Kalisan. And he did set Mikey a new season high, 22 points, with 10 of those uh, 22 coming off uh, 12 free throw attempts. He did tie Ray Nambatak with a team best eight boards in that last game against their neighboring school, Mapua. And you have to love the aggressiveness of Pong Quinto. Eh, 12 free throw attempts nga siya. Alam niya na minamala siya. 6 of 15 from the field. So, binaan niya sa free throw line. Itong si Bong Quinto. Alam naman natin the, the issues that were going on before the season. Yes. He put that aside. And talagang nag-perform siya dito sa season 93. And I believe, and I assume, he will continue to perform under Coach Jeff Napa. I remember last game, Bong Quinto, um, pinopostehan niya yung mga smaller na, defend, na defenders niya especially pag nakita niya may mismatch pinopostehan ni Bong Quinto as we momentarily saw Jeff Napa who celebrated his birthday last week he did get two wins last week one on Tuesday one on Friday so it was a good birthday week para kay Jeff Napa and Letran here's Calvo hand off to Balanza the screen by Mandreza also being Inserted in by Jeff Napa. Here's Nambatak again trying to drive inside. Gets the foul. And since San Sebastian is already in the penalty, Nambatak will head to the line for two. And this is a good way for Letran to get his, its, its confidence. Pero itong ang si Enzo Navarro. 
another three-point basket from the outside. Again, CSB, we did mention he had five out of six from the outside. He was four of five in that fourth and final quarter. Another timeout on the floor. We'll be right back. And our beautiful faces inside the Philoil Flying V Center. Enjoying our first game. Nagitang San Sebastian and Letran. Tags are 6-6. Six and six. The Knights are 7-6. and six, Tied with J.R. Young Letran at third. Seven wins and six losses. San Sebastian is trying to keep in step. San Sebastian, before the season started, were also considered one of the contenders to be part of the Final Four. Here's Nambatak at the line. It's number one in the league when it comes to free throw. Uh, he throws made per game with five as we take a look at momentarily his girlfriend, Miss Keisha Ancheta. I do remember last game, he was the best player. Nakalimutan niya ba tiyan? Ano hindi nga kinalimutan? Ay baka mag-away sila ako si Sia. Binati niya yung family and then ako pa yung nagpaalala, batiin mo naman si Keisha eh. Takot lang niya, binati niya. Tapos na, nag-away na. Nagbati na, nagbati na. Nagbati na. Kalisaan against Mandreza. Oh, napulot sa low, pero... Oh, San Sebastian will still have it with a few 14 seconds on their shot clock. Gayosa, yes, para sa tres. Ito rin ang kagandaan na nakita natin sa season 93. Kahit galing kay Alfred Gayosa, really improved his offensive game during the offseason last year. Puro depensa lang yan. Ngayon, may opensa na yan. Traveling called on Ray ng Batak. Balikan natin dito, Kalisan, who finds Gayosa able to spot and fire from the great beyond. And the former LPU Pirate is now in for the first time with 2 and 10 remaining. Uh, Jeremiah Taladua and also coming in, pinasok na ni Coach Egay Makaraya, si Baitan. RK Lagan is also now in. Oh, back to back. Yes, para sa tres. Para Alfred Gayosa to the delight of the lovely Miss Gretchen Soltones, of course, girlfriend of Michael Kalisan. Or of uh, Alfred Gayosa. <laughs> Sila mag-aaway. <laughs> Sila mag-aaway dahil sa iyo. No, no, Alfred Gayosa. <laughs> Sila mag- Hindi si Matt Barnes. <laughs> of Alfred Gayosa that is. Alfred Gayosa. Hindi yeah, Michael Kalisan. Pati si Mike. Baka yung girlfriend mo ni Michael, mag-alit siya. Hindi, ano ako, naguduan ako bigla. Nakatingin kasi ako kay Michael eh. Si Alfred. Alfred Gayosa. Of course. Girlfriend si Lady Beast, Gretchen Soltones, former Lady Stag. Oh, nice up and under by Calma. Pero nahuli ni Bacaro. Matak po si Balanza. Sees Taladua. Says, let's wait. Set up a good play. At ito, wala si Bong Quinto. Wala si JP Cal. Wala rin si Rey Nambada. Who will take over sa scoring load ng Letran. Tingnan natin kung siyan sila pupunta. Taladua will fire. Overshoots. Talma with the ball. Now off to RK Ilagan. Under a minute to play. Bulanari will fire. Gets fouled and will head to the line for three free throws. Really have to admire the confidence of the San Sebastian Stags. Alfred Gayosa, back-to-back threes. Ito namang si Alin Bulanadi. Hinaandop lang ng onti. Nakakita ng onting pong. E binato na rin. At ito, na-foul siya sa three free throws for Alin Bulanadi. But they just by on, Mikey. Of course, you did play for the Fighting Maroons. You recently had your stint with the Singapore Slingers. Uh, is it contagious? I just want to ask you, as a shooter yourself, as a point guard, as a player, na pag nakikita mong mainit yung mga ibang mong kakampi, minsan mawiwili ka na rin tumikada sa Oo naman. Na? Well, usually kasi ako yung nagpapaan. Kasi alam ko ikaw yung tira lang ng tira. <laughs> Kahit wala nakakasit, ako na. <laughs> then, then, pero nakakahawa ba? Oo, oh, I mean, if you see the, the momentum shift nasa inyo, yung, yung bench ninyo, yung crowd ninyo, eh, nag-go wild, lamang kayo ng 15, lamang kayo ng 16 puntos, eh, hindi na inisip. Nalin Bulanadi, pero ayun, medyo hindi binigyan ng landing spot ni Jeric Balanza, eh, ng si Bulanadi, kaya natawagan siya doon. So, when you're up by 15 points, Medyo nag-bad shot ka. Makakalusit ka pa ng konti. So, buti na lang na-foul si Alin Bulanadi doon. He did make just two of those three free throws for Alin Bulanadi. Ang 
Ladito for our official act. It says here on the scoreboard 25 to 8. Now make that 10 for Letran. On our screen, it says 23. Up here, sa ating, uh, scoreboard sa taas, sa gitna ng Philo and Flying V Center, it says 25 on San Sebastian. Let's see the official score. There it is, 25 to 10. Namang ng 15. Tung San Sebastian. Bulanari again fires. Off to the right. Nakuwa ni Calvo. And Letran will not waste time. Quinto attacks. Wasn't able to convert. Hinages kay Ilagan. Saves it to Gayosa. Traveling. And it's funny because just like a possession ago, sinabi natin, sino ang gagawa para sa Letran? Abang ito ang ating Milo Nutriap. Galing move of the quarter. Bong Quinto inside from a pass from Jeric Balanza. Just a possession ago, sinasabi natin, wala si Ray, wala si JP, wala si Bong. Sino ang suscore ngayon? Nandun na ulit. Itong three-headed monster ng Letran. Coach Jeff Napa not taking any chances. Down by 15, keeping his gunners on the floor. Sandaling sandali lang nagpahinga. Okay, Nabatak was fouled and he will head to the line for three. We, kanina, nabanggit natin, Mikey, uh, according to our Sultan of Stats, Pong Dukanes, that Ray Nabatak is number one in the league when it comes to free throws made per game. It just means... He gets good. to the line he's a lot. He's good in getting to the line. That's and right. He's good with his free throws. So efficient. Ray Nambatak, he knows what he wants. He wants those fouls. He wants those um, rhythm uh, rhythm shots that come from the free throw line so he can help the offense. And this is a bit of defense-offense substitution si Coach Jeff Napa. That's right. He's out of the Si Nambatak and si Vaccaro. Papasok niya si Balagasay at si Tadadua. So, mupo na naman yung three-headed monster. Ito si JP Galva na sa loob. Pero mupo na si... For defensive purposes, Cayosa with three to go. Oh, let's see. Foul ba kay Cayosa or foul on Calvo? Looks like it will be on JP Calvo. Holding foul. Yun na, masakit. Nasiko ka na. Natamahan ka na. Ikaw pa natawakan ng ball. But that was a wise foul from Calvo because wala pa sa penalty ang Letran. Bulanadi off to Ilagan to end the first. S3 there for Ilagan, pero the whole quarter talaga mainit itong San Sebastian, especially from the outside. JP Calvo started. He only had a single field goal. San Sebastian was on fire with 14 points coming from their bench with Alin Bulanadi, Enzo Navarro, and Alfred Gayosa firing from the outside. They're 4 of 10 from beyond the arc. Two coming from that man, Alfred Gayosa. Lamang sila ng 14, 25 sa 11 ang atin talaan at the end of the first. 